Hey guys, welcome to lesson 11. We're going to do some word for... No, we're not. Bad language. No problems. Just puzzles. You know? It's so much more friendly than word problems. But we're going to see these puzzles about equal groups. And the thing you need to remember is just the, the way you get a total number of something is you figure out how many groups there are then you multiply it by the number of items there are in that group. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. That's the total. All right, so let's try a couple of these. First thing is the You never know what's going to happen around here. Okay, anyway, all right, here we go. We got 42 students who can ride in each classic Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, sweet. You got 12 of the Beetles. How many students can ride to the game? Well, I'm, you know, there are 12 of the Beatles. There are 42 kids that can ride in each. You're just gonna do a multiplication problem, right? So 12 times 42, 504. Pretty straightforward, all right, let's try another one. 42 students can ride on each bicycle. There are 1,264 students who want to go to the game. How many bikes are needed to take all the students to the game? Well, you know, think about this. What kind of operation are you doing now? Division, right? So let's do it. We got 42 students who could go on each bicycle. These are big, like, homeschool-sized family bicycles, right? So how many students, uh, excuse me, how many bikes are going to need if 42 can go, and there are 1,264 total? So let's go. If you remember your 42's tables, 42 times 3 is 126. So it goes perfectly in that many times. So if you subtract it, nothing left over. 42 into 4 goes 0. And, of course, we have, with the 0 there, we have a remainder of four. Now, think about this though. What's the answer to the question? Look at the question. How many bikes are needed? You can't say, oh, uh, sir, the bike rental place, we need 30 bikes, remainder four. I'll have you thrown out, okay? Or he'll be videotaping you and like uploading it to, you know, Instagram for everybody to laugh at. So you need to tell the guy, I need 30, uh, 31 bikes. Of course, the last bike can have four kids, or he can even. Dis, dis, like distribute the kids more evenly on the bicycles, and we'll do a problem like that in a second. So let's do it. 892 cookies need to be as evenly divided as possible among 28 boxes. How many cookies should go in each box? Now, this isn't, remember, this isn't just random. We need to divide these as evenly as possible. Okay, let's think about it first. How many cookies need to go in each box? Well, first off, it's a division problem, right? So we have 28 into 892. So if you remember your 28's tables, 28 times three, 84, that's right, good, okay. So three times 28 is 84, you subtract, there's five left over, 28 goes in 52 once, one times 28 and you subtract and there is 24 left over. Now there's a remainder of 24. Now the question was, how many cookies should go in each box? We're gonna try to make this as evenly distributed as possible. So. We have a remainder. All 31 cookies will go in every box, right? But we also have, if you were to put 31 cookies in every box, every all 28 boxes, you would look down and go, oh, wait a minute, I still have 24 cookies left. What am I going to do? Well, obviously, you're going to put one cookie and eat 24 of those 28 boxes, right? So 24 boxes are going to have how many cookies now? Not 31, 32, right? So you're gonna have 24 boxes with 32 cookies. That says cookies. And you're gonna have, how many boxes total do you have? Four, right? Four of those boxes are gonna have 31 cookies. That says cookies, okay. Let's just check it out just to make sure. 24 times 32, if you do the arithmetic, is 768. Four times 31 is 124. That gives you nine, two, eight, and that's exactly how many cookies we have. So there you go. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and try the practice problems on page 43. Ah, what, a, what a lie. Puzzles. Practice puzzles, page 43. All right, go ahead and pause. You can do either one or two at a time. So pause it. Okay. Well, the problem is puzzle. The puzzle is this. 40 kids stood patiently in each line. There were 35 lines of kids how many kids were standing patiently in all the lines? Well, each group has 40 kids. There are 35 lines. 
40 times 35 is 1,400. There you go, okay? B, 40 kids could crawl into one space. If there were 1,600 kids, <coughs> how many spaces would it take to hold them all? Well, this is a division operation, right? Okay, so we have 1,600 divided by 40, which if you want to knock off a zero on each of those, that would just be four into 160. Four into 16 is four, then zero, boom. You'd need 40 spaces, okay? C is the more challenging one where it says, uh, we're gonna look at this, it said, there were 148 kids that had to be crowded as evenly as possible on, into eight spaces. How many kids were in each space? Okay, well, let's do it. We got eight kids per space. No, excuse me, eight spaces, 148. So how many kids per space, all right? So eight goes in the 14 once, and we'll do short division. There's six left over. Eight into 68 is eight. And of course, there is a remainder of four, right? Now, how many spaces are there total? Look at your problem. Okay, eight spaces, right? So in other words, here's a space here, 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 and then here's another, 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 all right? So we know that every space has to have 18 kids in it, right? So let's just say we have 18, we have 18, they all have 18, right? But don't forget, we have a remainder of four, though. We can't just, as much as it might be tempting, throw these kids into the garbage can for pickup later that next morning. So we have to spread these kids out, which means we don't stuff them all into one. We would put one here, one there, one there, and one there to make it as even as possible. Or we could take a giant circuit or saw and cut, no, let's, okay, we don't want to do that. So you'll have 18 kids in four of the spaces and you'll have 19 kids in the other four spaces, okay. All right, go to it. Y'all have a good day with those problems. I'll see you next time. Take care.